Hello. <laughs> um, so first of all, tell me, how did you end up playing the double bass? Uh, when I was seven years old, my father always wants that I play in bass. Right. Uh, bass, sorry, I want to, he always wants that I'm a musician, so... Was your father a musician? Um, my father is a guitar player. Uh -huh. He's a teacher. Um, he quite a good player. <laughs> uh -huh. So it was his dream that I'm a musician. So when I did an exam for my special music school, um, they told me that I don't have any donation and they put me on a double bass. <laughs> yeah, and it was actually it was experiment of my teacher. Because if you're seven years old, you can't play big bass because it's quite huge. Yeah. So the experiment was that my teacher take a small cello, put uh, bass guitar strings on it, and that's how I was learning for my first four years. And then, uh, when I was 50 years in the school, they wanted to kick me out because I didn't do anything. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, then when, when I was 12, it was sixth year, I started to play in a student orchestra. Right. And I really enjoy it. And that's actually the first time I really started to practice bass and play. And after two years, I already was working in my orchestra in Kazakhstan. Wow. That's yeah, pretty quick so, progress. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. So I really want to work, play in orchestra. That I didn't go many times to the school. I was in Philharmonia. But I practice for my other lessons just because if I don't practice, then they can me, they they can kick me out from the orchestra. Mm. So I was doing everything just just <laughs> to, to play have a in the orchestra. <laughs> You've been playing Kusevitsky oh. bass concerto. <laughs> Long time actually. Long time. I did with orchestra before, like three times, and I mean it's a famous orchestra, uh, f famous concerto and. Normally, you play for all auditions for all orchestra. Okay. And it's is, like that, is that because it's the only bass concerto? No, it's not. <laughs> <only>. <laughs> That's a joke. It's one, of <laughs> one, of, one of many. Um, um, why do you like playing Kusevitsky? Do you, can uh, you give us to like just play one or two notes? Uh, I like. Why I like? <laughs> Fantastic, gosh, I think that's exciting. <laughs> um, there, well, I can't think of a better reason to come and hear the whole concerto after, <laughs> after hearing that. Can you tell me a little bit about where you're from in the world? Because I okay. think I'm right in saying you're not Scottish. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> so I was born in Siberia, right. a city called Novosibirsk. Right, a long way away. Uh, yeah, so... I was living six years, then my parents moved to Kazakhstan and I was studying in special music school for 11 years in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. studying in the conservatory. Yeah. Um, then I went to London, right. studied three years in London and then I got a job here and I'm, I'm not a student anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, and um, I'm, I'm sorry to ask you this, but have you seen the film Borat? Yes, I saw that. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. It's not like that. It's not true. It's no. not true. Okay. And um, uh, have you managed to find... I know that one of the things you were complaining about when you first came to Scotland was the food and that you couldn't find a decent dumpling for love nor money. Really? I was wondering, have you found any dumplings yet? <laughs> I find in a special Russian cafe. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Which down Burton Street, right? Yeah, you see... Wonderful. So you're happy? Yeah.